many times while seeking to know God is our attempting to control Him. Getting to fit our limited mind desires for Him to be something other than who He truly is. We're told to keep it simple when we really want to bring Him down to our size, figure Him out so we don't have to feel inferior to Him. We hear, great is the mystery of Godliness, and we think that we, with our limited carnal mind, could ever get to know what this greatness really is. Yet we are called to be stewards of what's called the mysteries of God. And feeling inadequate, we simply neglect the responsibility or say, he's past our knowing, giving up with our narrow minds. Little do we know that our Father didn't place us in this world without any recourse of action or inability to come to know Him and what this life is all about. It is written that He has lit everyone who came into this world and this experience. It's called the candle of the Lord, meaning the same mind that was God's Son when He came to us as a human body. This mind is also in our spirits unaware. It is also written that we could increase with the increase of God if only we would not think this is impossible. Would I fall in the corner of mine? Yes, it would be impossible. Yet with this mind of your spirit, we could and expect to discover this by the surrender of our shallow minds. There have been those who have said, if you come to Paul Woodward, you have to leave your mind at the door. I would have to agree. Yes, leave your carnal mind and come discovering this mind in your spirit and we would have the fellowship of the mystery, the mystery of the same mind of Christ in your spirit and mine that was in Christ Jesus our Lord, the Son of God who came as the Son of Man like us, who taught us to live out of this mind and now our carnal minds to be renewed. Some have accused us, those with this mind of Christ, this anointing from our Father. They have accused us of thinking that we know it all. No, we don't know it all, but we do know one who does know it all, our Father, who through His Son gives us His Word, the Word of His Father and ours, empowered by the Spirit of God. So, probe all that you want, placing any label that you can come up with upon us. It no longer offends us, for we know whom we have believed and are persuaded that he's able to keep that which he's spoken to us against that day when the thoughts of us all will be tried at the judgment seat of Christ. Only that which was shared through this mind of Christ in our spirits will stand the test. One final word, which is a warning. What if, what if what we are saying, those claiming this mind of Christ and what this mind has called us to speak, what if this isn't our opinions and are those that are Father and yours? unaware to you, have called us to speak. What if it is your Father speaking to you at this moment? What do you think he would say to those who are warned to not judge anything before the time? I leave you with that thought.